Hello guys, in this video I'd like to share with you how to fix a Java deploy error on Heroku. The error is invalid target release. I am Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. Okay, let me show you the error when deploying a Java application onto Heroku Cloud Platform. So on my Windows computer, open a new command prompt. Okay. And let me change the current directory to the to a project uh, on my computer. I have a project named Spring Boot Farm here. Okay, and I used Maven MVN clean the project. Okay. And now I use uh, git command to uh, deploy this uh, project onto Heroku. Now let me type Heroku apps. And you see uh, on my Heroku account, I have some uh, applications already deployed here. Okay, now let me uh, git init type git init to initialize a uh, git repo for the project and then git add dot to add all the files of the project and then commit git commit commit to heroku to deploy okay and now i create a new heroku app Heroku create Spring Boot Spring Farm app. Okay, it has created a new app on Heroku. You can see the URL Spring Farm app .com. And now I type this command to uh, uh, push the code from my computer to Heroku to deploy the application. Get Post Heroku master. Oh, you see now I get an error. You can see the error is fatal error compiling invalid target release 11 uh, this error means that the java version of the project is 11 uh, but on heroku it is not supported uh, in other words heroku uh, installed um, java version less than version 11 uh, if you uh, see the beginning uh, logs you can see you can see uh, the JDK version which Heroku installed for the app. You can see here. You can see here Java app detected installing OpenJDK 1.8. That's why it uh, failed to deploy the application because on uh, Heroku OpenJDK 1.8 cannot run uh, Java 11 application. Makes sense? So in this uh, video, I will show you how to fix this error. So as you have seen, the error message is fatal error compiling invalid target release uh, followed by the Java version of uh, your application, your project. The reason is that the JDK version installed by Heroku is older than the Java version of the project. And the solution, you can choose uh, one of the following solutions. Uh, the first solution is change uh, project's Java version. And the second solution is change JDK version installed by Heroku for the new app. Now. I'm going to show you how to fix the invalid target release Java deploy error on Heroku uh, with the solution uh, number one, the first uh, solution, which is change 
uh, project Java version. You use this solution if you are sure that your project will work with other JDK version installed by Heroku. Okay, now uh, let me uh, show you the content of the Maven project file. In this project is a palm.xml file here, you see. So I open it in uh, Notepad. Okay, this is a palm.xml file. You can see it specifies the Java version is 11. Now, because uh, Heroku installed uh, Java 1.8 by default, so I change the Java project here, Java version in the project here to 1.8. So, uh, when you use this solution, you must be sure that your application will work uh, with uh, the older Java version. Okay, and save the change. And then you need to um, uh, use the read command to uh, update the change to the prompt.xml file. And commit change Java version to 1.8. Okay, and then deploy again with boost Heroku master. That's the moment for the deployment to complete. Okay, you see, build success. Uh, that means the application has been deployed successfully onto Heroku. Okay, done. And now I can type the command Heroku open to open the application in, in a web browser. Okay, you see, this is a newly deployed application. Okay, so that's the first uh, solution to fix the invalid target release. And now I'm going to show you how to fix the invalid target release Java deploy error on Heroku with solution number two, which is change JDK version installed by Heroku. So use this solution if your project, your application must work with the specified Java version. It can't work with um, the JDK version uh, installed by Heroku by default. Okay, let me show you the second solution to fix the invalid target release okay so under the project root you need to create a text file called system.properties so uh, on windows i open the notepad here and enter this line java.runtime.version because the project requires java version 11 so i specify version 11 here and save the file into the project root directory which is here the print boot form okay here the file name is system system dot properties okay Okay, now I can check. We have the system not properties file right here. You see, it's content here. We specify the Java runtime version is 11. Okay, for this change, you need to use the read command add system properties to put the file to read repo and then commit the change. change java version to 11 on heroku okay and then target push uh, heroku master to deploy the application again
Okay, you see, build success uh, deployment successful. And now I can type the command Heroku open to test the newly deployed app. Heroku open to uh, open the application in the web browser. You see, it is here. So that's the second solution to fix the invalid target release when deploying a Java application on Heroku. All right, so that's I have shared with you uh, two solutions to fix the Java deploy error on Heroku invalid target release. The reason is that JDK version is stored by Heroku is older than the Java version of the project, and you can apply one of two solutions: change project Java version or change JDK version installed by Heroku for the new app. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.